No, jeszcze będę tu mało poszukał, zobaczyć, co się jest tak. No, tak. Dobrze, tego pana tutaj nie patrzę, bo pamiętam dobrze. On je, pracuje tu dużo lat. No, no, pamiętam dobrze. Mladie, a ile lat ma te wieś, proszę pana? A ile lat ma te wieś, proszę pana? Sebastian. Bardzo miło. Przepraszam? 12 lat już chyba. Ale widzę, jestem młody, młody pan. Ale ja pamiętam was, pamiętam, pamiętam. Dużo, dużo. Nie ma na pamięta te? A ja, ja, ja. Jak nie? Na pewno pamięta te. Ale to jest nie Bardzo może być to nie, ale my pamiętam się. Na pewno pamiętam. Ja byłam w Stanach Zjednoczonych, byłem tu z naszymi pan Chris Amerykanem. Aha, aha. Ja, pamiętam to? Chris, ja pamiętam. Aha. No, no, no. Aha, no, no. z Chrisem, tak? Z Chrisem byłem, tak, tak. Aha. I ten pan pracował tam w Chicago? Z Chrisem, czy nie? Nie. Y, Chris był tu. No, żyje tu, Chris. On tu jest nauczyciel w Polsce. Chris, tak? Ja tu tam gdzieś tak. Został tu. Tak, aha. 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 Ja wiesz, ten dom cały, to wszystko też się prowadził? Tam hotel też wybawał, chyba tam jakiś miał zarządzał. Miał hotel? Ja nie mam pojęcia, co miał. Ja nie mam pojęcia. Nie miał hotel. To jest dawno, tak? Parę lat temu, tak? Parę lat temu, tak, 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 tak. Tak, on się też spróbował tu, tak. On to samo robił, jak ja robię teraz. A co pan, czym się pan zajmuje? Znam, co jak ja robię teraz. Olej, no to, co mi dałem jakiś tak indikator, co mogę być coś takiego zrobić. Tak, żebym jeszcze zobaczył, co będzie. Ale na pewno chciałem tu chłód. Tak, po internetu sprzedawać. Znasz, no. co się robi e, dropshipping, znasz, no. co dropshipping jest, tak, takie rzeczy. Tu no. mam swój website, takie rzeczy, gdzie się chciałby tak sklep zrobić. Wtedy mi tu oferta za swoje klienty zrobili, tak, co mogę być jeszcze do zmiany, tak. Jakoś przeżyłem. Tak. Bardzo dziękuję Wam. Dziękuję. Dziękuję, 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 dziękuję bardzo. Dziękuję, dziękuję. December the 18, 2019 it is and I did post the news today on my blog on how I was identified along with NK Ultra Stat member to whom I have referred in the past, Chris from Colorado, son of Donald Trump out of wedlock. I posted this day on a news site, I was identified by an individual, number one, uh, who claimed, became friendly with him, to me under MKL, so this is what he claimed, became friendly with him, with idea to help me out. In fact, it was not only he alone who claimed this, uh, it was more than just he, there were a few other guys that claimed me the same thing under MK Ultra that this individual actually is from Chicago. Uh, he's got a hotel in Chicago. Uh, that description of my previous account about how the gentleman is son from Donald Trump, uh, son out of weather from Donald Trump, is not real. In fact, they claim they managed to penetrate to the other side of Atlantic and get additional information about him, which is tracing his real identity uh, to what I have posted under my account, under my blogger account. You know, the truth is that I am not completely certain about it. The only thing I can tell you is that I have identified uh, what you will hear in continuation in audio recording, it's going to be in Polish, some even in English. 
young girl uh, who later developed some problem. I have no idea what kind of problem does she have. Uh, she has, look, if I would go far enough, uh, I would even find out what kind of trouble that she's suffering from. She is suffering from, it might be either side effects of some psychotropic medications. I'm talking about the girl that works in the real estate office in the building uh, where I was today, along with a gentleman you're about to hear who gives an account uh, from the past that he recalled me along with a Chris. So this is either a real account about Chris from Colorado who accompanied me under MK Ultra through ordeal which lasted no less. He was already present way before that. If you hear his conversation from McDonald's, uh, it goes way back, it goes to, to 2000 and even before that. It goes to 98 actually. He mentions Victoria from St. Petersburg, Russians and so on. Uh, now, why this thing is possible? It is possible because it could be used to destruct from the real evidence that a gentleman in fact is son from Donald Trump out of wedlock. Uh, it could be used to disturb the theory, the truth. Uh, I was told over and over, brainwashed with, I was told uh, over and over with something completely different. This is one of the things. So basically this would be basically intended for international investigators to um, deter them from facts. That's why it's important for me to stress under what type of circumstances this account came out. That's number one. Number two, Chris alone suggested me under MKUltra that most likely I will never get to this location and I will most likely and never ever find out about the truth about who he is, about his real identity, that the whole thing was just done in a such a way that I'm never going to get through this ordeal, through this MK Ultra ordeal. Um, that gives me more suspicion because I was with Chris at this location and I have identified the whole building. That gives me more suspicion that in fact uh, there is a possibility you're about to hear was used as a scam to say, oh no, you know, it was some other guy. Especially, I have to accent this because just about maybe 50 meters away mentions Dutch guy whose name was also somehow Chris. I was with him. There was many, many other people that I was involved with. But the most frequent individual I was with was an individual who met me at McDonald's and the Niju is from Colorado. So now either this is son out of, uh, from Donald Trump out of wedlock that had a hotel in Chicago, that's a very high possibility as well, or it could be according to the theory of some under MK Ultra hired by Donald Trump, somebody from Chicago to do this stuff like this. Um, either way it is, it's getting more and more interesting. Now the gentleman who give this account again works along the lady from the real estate office, a uh, young girl, these are both young people. What happened is, uh, how did I get involved with this? What what happened? How is it all this? Well, they, under my culture, they have presented me with at least 100 Polish girls that I have fallen for. I would I would be so exhausted from this stuff that, and, you know, in, in such a circumstances that I would keep going for, I wanted my own female and they have abused this kind of issue to get me going through MK Ultra. This girl just happened to be one of them. When I met her first, and that was in sometimes in I would say 2004, 2005, this girl did not suffer from any kind of a health issues. I was later on told that she was actually set up. They have done something to her, either sip her in the food or whatever they have done to her uh, to um, I have no idea to completely to make her uh, either depression or something. What I have seen today, are reminded of some kind of side effects from medications or something like this. 
but there is a whole other story behind that stuff that reminds a lot on a story from Grotniki, where the teacher of Russian also was subjected to the certain type of mistreatment. And so when you hear this account, if you're investigating this, um, I'm not giving you a green light to just walk away from it. I'm just explaining that it was confirmed, in fact, that I was seen with Chris in the past by this gentleman whom I have recognized, identified, just like the girl, I, basically everybody in the building. The business and so on, the business and so on. To either distract away from the real account about the individual who most likely I would say still 99.9% .9 is son of Donald Trump and the whole thing was used as a scam today just to suggest that he's somebody else with some hotel and stuff like this or this also is a possibility that he might have been hired by Donald Trump either as a scammer or he might, he might be a son from Donald Trump who had a hotel also in Chicago and stuff like this. Again, really, really strange, the gentleman who you're going to hear in Polish English that Chris from Colorado actually is a teacher here in Lodge of English language because he claimed to me under MK Ultra that he became close friend with him, that he became very, very close with him. And from the conversation, from what I got idea, in a few minutes when I spoke with him, he could not relate to the issue of Chris being teacher of English language here in Poland. So undoubtedly that we were together with Chris at this location. There is no doubt about this. The question only exists here. Uh, is this account that was given to me today used to distract from what most likely is the true 99.9% .9 that we're talking about the son of Donald Trump out of wedlock from Colorado? Uh, or it's actually a truth that it might be son from Donald Trump from Colorado uh, who had a hotel in Chicago. Don't forget Trump has his residence towers in Chicago as well. Uh, or might have been actually even used as a scammer. So nobody would really identify his real identity. Now again, the thing, or maybe just to uh, destroy my case, basically. There is a possibility, either way, this confirms that there is an organized crime in the whole thing, if that is the case. Either way, I'm becoming more and more and more credible about it. Again, Chris alone suggested most likely you will never get to this degree, to this, to this level, to this location. Uh, it's most likely what's not going to happen. You're never going to probably find out who I am and this and that. Um, so why would he give this kind of account to me uh, if he would want, uh, you know, to scam me? Uh, I should say uh, for me to find out the truth. So either way like this, it's like this. But it confirms that something is going on, that something is happening. Uh, they are doing anything possible to basically distract uh, from fact, from the truth about what goes on. Uh, just yesterday, about a kilometer away, I have identified not only people, the whole free market of the people, everybody I identified, stores, people. This is video recording that's coming next. It's going to be again in Polish. Everything is going to be in Polish. Uh, I have even managed to point out locations, the previous locations of the people who sold flea market salespeople who were selling previously on other location on another flea market, like I said, flea market which no longer even exists. It's called Wielkopolski uh, Flea Market, Rinek. No longer exists, for three years no longer exists, and I was able to not only to identify the gentleman, I was able to actually draw him an image, a sketch of market and point out 
where exactly his stand was located. And he gave me a green light for that. Likewise, I was capable to, to identify a couple, uh, of course, a lady, a really beautiful lady, uh, everybody had fallen for her, um, have pointed out the gentleman next to her was her husband. Uh, further, when they told me that they know this no longer is their store, uh, they have moved to this store uh, about the first store about 20 years ago. What I did was I actually told them, yes, I remember your store. I remember where your store was located. And they opened their mouths, I couldn't believe, and say yes. I said it was located right next to the railroad. There is a railroad right there. And they gave me a green light. And I know I remember this because they took me one time also to that location. Uh, I, we were there before. But the thing is that before they left, they took me one more time to that location, say, in case you will somehow remember or something like this. And make no mistake, I did. And this is all going to be in the audio recording that's coming next. The area, again, is far away from Zgir, far away from Grotniki. But this confirms totally that, well, were you kidding me? How the hell would I know this store was gone 20 years ago? Move to another location and I would point out the stuff like this and I would tell the things like this for the markets, flea markets that no longer even exist and so on. How the hell would I know these things from? I remember tremendously, tremendously not. This is not about whether I remember what happened or not. This now is all about something else. It's more about my economical situation. They knew I'm going to find out about all this stuff. The car was just a necessary tool I had to get to get around the lodge, to get in the job market and this and that get familiarized myself exactly with what goes on around what happened exactly uh, according to them i would even then sell the car because of the struggle they have created and i have not spoken to you about any of that stuff yet they have created a whole variety of scam to destroy me economically this is no longer about whether i was involved in mk ultra where this did took 25 years away of life away from me deprived me of 25 years of life this is about some completely other issues and if you're an investigator please do your job already because every day that goes by you're postponing your work what you're supposed to do is only confirming something else about the whole european union i'm referring to european court for human rights in strasbourg uh, about the united nations as the international institution amnesty international so on. it's just confirming that these are completely controlled institutions and are not serving the purpose to which uh, they present themselves to the world. It's just please do your job already, because every day, every day I lose like this uh, is just one day in addition to 25 years of life, which I already lost with because of this stuff. Okay? Thanks for watching uh, this video coming next. It's audio recording about an individual who actually confirms seeing me in the past with Chris. Chris from Colorado, always, always, whenever we were in private with Donald Trump, referred to him as a daddy. This always was the case. It was a daddy. Um, dad, I should say dad. Daddy, dad, daddy. So, I don't know anything about uh, what you're about to hear. Uh, it could also be that he had a hotel, that this is what it is. I have no idea. Uh, either way, it, it works for me.
Proszę Pani, ale co jest działa na tym nieruchomości? Tak, to jest na to co? Eee, na to co? No, ja się odbiła. Tylko, że akurat nie ma Pani jak to jest akurat, jak ma będzie tak, że ona będzie miała. Ale co one mam pojęcie? Przecież tym, że tutaj chciałam by was wypytać, jeżeli to tu jeżeli to się wynajmę jeszcze jakiś. Czy chciałby Pan coś wynająć? No ja szukam, coś chciał by wynająć jakiś przestęp, coś takiego. No dobrze, ale to jeszcze Pana i nie interesuje. Jakieś magazyn? Znasz, co nas interesuje? Interesuje mnie jakaś mała stan w biuro, coś takiego. Co by było? Ja? Eee, jedynie, ale podobnie od kwietnia. Aha, a ile kosztuje to właśnie to jest takie, że jest stanie? Tak, mało, mało by się, tak mało biuro, jak to, co z takiego kosztuje na przykład. No tam by było 42 metry. Tak, i dużo. No potrzebuję tego. Tak, zawsze to, tak 10-15 metrów, coś takiego. Nie wiem, co to będzie. Będzie też problem, bo. Będzie też problem? No tak, bo na chwilę obecną to mówię, nie mamy już miejsca, co jest wynajęte. Jedynie co to tylko, tak jak mówiłam, mogłabym zaproponować od kwietnia tego roku, ale to też te 42 metry, czyli więcej niż. A cena, no wie pan, teraz yy, Ja myślę, że to nawet było za mnie, ale to dobrze, że ceny. No, ogólnie biorąc około 30 zł za metr kwadratowy. 40? Czy tam 1600 zł, coś takiego? No tak, no to. No właśnie, teraz nie wiem, czy to pana będzie interesować, bo po pierwsze czekać, po drugie, no będzie to większe, bo nie chcę. Chyba, że możemy zrobić zawsze, że będziemy kontakt. Mhm. I jak będziemy mieli coś... Jeżeli było coś takiego, no mogłoby, możemy zrobić kontakt. A wiecie, jak my szukacie coś do popracy, nie coś takiego, że mogę z nią pomóc? Dobrze, 
Ja jestem z Słowenii, jak on i może mówię angielski, niemiecki, Nie Wyślę to z Wiskazu, na razie nie szukamy. Nie szukamy tak. takiego. Aha. I ty czasem tu u was jest tylko ogrzewany? Tak, tak, tak. Tu jest normalny ogrzewany. No to, to tak jest dobrze. Dobrze, to tylko jeszcze jakiś eee. numer telefonu. Pięć. No, tak. Tak, tak, tak. I to. Pięć, pięć, siedem, dziewięć, tak? O, jeszcze raz będziemy zrobić. Tak, jeszcze raz. Nie, w takim razie to chyba jeszcze będzie uczciwe. Jeszcze raz, tak? Tak, tak. Dobra. Tak, bardzo dziękuję Wam. Okej, no i tak się jest. Tak, to jest takie do wydziału, to jest tam jakieś 10, 15 metrów, 200 zł. Ehm, I to jest to? I to nie wiem. Na pewno wiem, że typowa działalność zbiorowa, tak? Tak, 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 ty jeszcze do tego dźwięku o tym? No tak, ale, no, ale to już jakieś inżynia, bo... No, a jeszcze Róż, będę tu mało poszukał, zobaczę, co się jest tak. No, dobrze. Dobrze, tego pana tutaj jak patrzę, bo pamiętam dobrze, on pracuje tu dużo lat. No. No, no. pamiętam dobrze. Mladie, a ile lat ma to wiek, proszę pana? A ile lat ma to wiek, proszę pana? Sebastian. Ale to nie Przepraszam? 12 lat już chyba. Ale widzę, jestem mladym, mladym panie. <grym> Ale ja pamiętam was, pamiętam, pamiętam. Dużo, dużo. I na nie pamięta się? A ja, ja, ja. Jak nie? Na pewno nie pamięta się. Ale to już mam. Bardzo może być to nie, ale my pamięta się. Na pewno pamięta się. Ja byłam na Stanach Zjednoczonych, byłem tu z naszym pan Chris Amerykanem. Aha, aha. Ja. Pamiętacie? Chris, ja pamiętam. Aha. No, no, no. Aha, no, no, no. z Chrisem, tak? Z Chrisem byłem, tak, tak. Aha. I ten pan pracował tam w Chicago? Z Chrisem, czy nie? Nie. Y Chris był tu. No, żyje tu, Chris. On tu jest na uczyciel w Polsce. Chris, tak? Ja się tam gdzieś tak? Tak, aha. 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 A wiesz, tam był ten dom cały, to wszystko co się przeprowadził? Tam hotel się odbudował, chyba tam jakiś miał zarządzał. No hotel? Ja nie mam pojęcia, co ma. Ja nie mam pojęcia. Nie ma hotel. A to jest dawno, tak? Parę lat temu, tak, 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 tak. Tak, on się też próbował tutaj, tak. On to samo robił, jak ja robię teraz. A co pan tym się pan zajmuje? Znam się, ja chciałem być teraz. O, ale no, to, to mi dałem jakiś taki indikator, co mogę by coś takiego zrobić. Na pewno jeszcze zobaczę, co będzie. Ale na pewno chciałem tu kurs, tak, po internetu sprzedawać. Znasz, co się robi dropshipping, znasz, co dropshipping jest, takie rzeczy. Tu mam swoje website, takie rzeczy, kiedy się robi tak sklep zrobić. Tu bym tu oferty za swoje pieniądze zrobił, tak, to mogę być tu, że znałem to, tak. I ja to przeżyłem. Bardzo dziękuję Wam. Dziękuję. Dziękuję bardzo. Dziękuję, do widzenia.
Dobry. Pana, yy, no co, ja szukam pracy.
a jackpot this is Chris this is the right person gentlemen have spoken about uh, let's just hope this came through <laughs> oh my god eh? okay this was recorded on December what is it 19 I'm gonna make sure about that kind of stuff December 18 2019 it is 10, 20 hours right now. This is yet the most beautiful one. Uh, oh, this is this is this was this is a Bombay. <laughs> Let me just take a with the camera a quick. This is this is a powerful one this is this is basically the location here that I am right now at no this is known as uh, let's see that yeah it's bow shinska Zboshinska, Grudzianska, Grudzianska, Zboshinska. Uh, you're gonna look for the company right next to the company Regard. Dot Soberka GM, and next to it it's Arctic SPZOO. Zbas Zin. Ska, the Y, Grud, Z, A, D, Z, K. And next to it is a company known as Sandex. So this is a bomb right now. Gentleman remembers you with the Chris. And the Chris is the man from Chicago Hotel and so on. And this is the gentleman who on that MK Ultra gesture is actually his good friend. And so this actually completely confirms that the path I'm taking was the path previously taken by Donald Trump's son out of Whitlock, Chris from Colorado. So now we're basically we're getting somewhere. Unless they set me up with something else, this also is possible, but I think this is it.